For VLANs to span across multiple switches, you obviously need to connect the switches to each other. Although it is possible to simply plug one switch into another using an access port, just as you would plug a host or a hub, doing so kills the VLAN spanning feature and a bunch of other useful stuff too. A switch to switch link must be set up as a trunk link in order for the VLAN system to work properly. A trunk link is a special connection. The key difference between an ordinary connection, an access port, and a trunk port is that an access port is only in one VLAN at a time. A trunk port has the job of carrying traffic for all VLANs from one switch to another. Anytime you connect a switch to another switch, you want to make it a trunk. A trunk can be created only on a fast Ethernet or gigabit Ethernet connection. 10 megabit Ethernet ports are not fast enough to support the increased traffic from multiple VLANs, so the commands are not available for a regular Ethernet port. By default, traffic from all VLANs is allowed on a trunk. You can specify which VLANs are permitted or not to cross a particular trunk if you have that requirement, but these functions are beyond the scope of the CCNA exam. Switches, whether trunked or not, are always connected with crossover cables, not straight through cables. In CCNA land, there is no such thing as a smart port that will auto-detect a crossed connection and fix it. The Catalyst 2960 has such a feature, but the exam will test your knowledge of when to use a crossover cable. For the purposes of your exams, if two switches are not connected with a crossover cable, there will be no connectivity between them, period. When creating a trunk, you must choose a trunking protocol. A trunking protocol adds a VLAN identification tag to frames coming into the switch. As those frames are forwarded across the trunk, the VLAN from which the frame originated is identifiable, and the data frame can be distributed to ports in the same VLAN on other switches and not to different VLANs. This frame tagging and multiplexing function is what enables VLANs to span multiple switches and still keeps each VLAN as a separate broadcast domain. This figure illustrates a simple trunk as it multiplexes frames from two separate VLANs across a single fast Ethernet trunk.